mum just posted a whole load of chocolate bars to me. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. Today is Monday the 30th of August, which is ridiculous. Uh, I can't stop looking at my new piercings. Every time I start filming, I'm like, oh, forget talking. Let's just look at me. Uh, yeah, my mum just posted a whole load of chocolate bars through the door. Uh, because I'm out of chocolate, uh, but I don't really want to talk to anyone today, so she just put them through the letterbox instead. <laughs> and I was upstairs at the time getting dressed, and then I just heard thud, 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 and I was like, ah, that'll be my mum. Uh, so yeah, I am also expecting uh, another package today. Um, I ordered a piercing pillow, well, it's not actually a piercing pillow, it's actually a pillow you use, like a spa would buy, so, you know the ones you put your face through? So you're not just lying face down on the table and getting your face smushed. You like, there's like a hole in the table, you know? <laughs> I've never been to, well I have been to a spa, but I mostly just used it for the pool. Uh, Cause I don't like people touching me. So but I ordered one of those pillows, but the point is it has a hole in it <laughs> so that I can sleep on my side uh, without uh, damaging my piercings. I've been using just a, a travel pillow for the last couple of nights, but it's not great because Obviously there's a there's a gap <laughs> and so it tends to move during the night so yeah I ordered a uh, I mean when I googled because right I googled donut pillow okay and I thought that 90% of the results would be you know those really tacky looking you know pillows with like a uh, you know a, a shoddy picture of a donut on it I thought it would be like those right except no there was only like two of those and all of the rest of them were like donut pillows that you sit on um, and they all had like things like hemorrhoids in the title and I'm like I wanted a donut pillow what the fuck does hemorrhoids have to do with this so yeah it was surprisingly difficult to find one um, but I did in the end and it should be arriving today I don't know when today but today <laughs> I am also very hot um, yeah it's still kind of warm in the UK it is actually <sighs> It's really grey still, which is annoying because I didn't get around to filming the outfit clips I wanted to last week because I deliberately waited because it was really grey last week as well and it kept uh, drizzling and stuff so I was like, oh, I'll wait because, uh, you know, it's meant to be a summer lookbook so I wanted it to be sunny, <laughs> you know, regardless of whether it's hot or cold I wanted there to at least be some sun. Um, so I was holding out and hoping that this week would be sunnier but I looked at the weather and it's going to be grey clouds all week. No rain or anything, just solid wall of grey clouds. So yeah, <laughs> basically we're not getting any decent weather, so yeah. I'm just going to go out and try and film them today, which is why I'm actually dressed today. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the outfits. <laughs> so sneak peek. Um, yeah, so I'll be going out. I'm going to wait until uh, this afternoon though, because it's currently black clouds on the weather, but it's meant to be white clouds later. So hopefully it'll be a little bit brighter later. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm waiting for later, and also it tends to be quieter in the evening because uh, people are like, they're still at work, <laughs> but it's also too late for kids to be out. So I like to go out between like 4 and 6, that seems to be prime time, because I used to go out early in the morning. But the problem with going out early in the morning is, I mean it's the school holidays at the moment so it's not a problem, but you would usually run into school kids, but also... Uh, dog walkers are out and as much as I love dogs and if I was just going for a walk then I would go in the morning but if I'm trying to film <laughs> dog walkers are annoying uh, because you have to wait for them to pass before you can you can continue filming um, and obviously it takes a while because you know dogs stop and sniff and poop and shit and it is annoying and so and then of course people look at you and like what's she doing um, so you know it's easier to go out when no one's out there and I found between four and six is the best time to do that so yeah I'm gonna wait until later it's currently 20 past 12 I have been filming more videos this morning I've got a whole load of footage here uh, I've been filming gaming videos I am planning to launch my gaming channel next Monday so by the time you see this vlog I'll be launching it tomorrow uh, which is very exciting I basically pre-filmed a whole load of videos um, I think I'm nearly at 50 videos now I just wanted to pre-film a whole load of them uh, so that I don't I don't get caught out basically because it's about to get very busy in like literally a week or two so yeah I wanted to pre-film a whole load of stuff so I had content I didn't have to worry about constantly making videos even though I have been constantly making videos for the last week and a half <laughs> like seven of those to edit but they only take like five minutes to edit it's wonderful you know I just <laughs> drag drag export easy as that it, it takes so little time uh it's it's wonderful <laughs> especially after editing vlogs yesterday it's just oh editing vlogs is such a drag 
So yeah, I am very much enjoying making gaming videos and I wanted to game anyway, so basically making the gaming videos, it really doesn't take any extra time because I want to play video games anyway, all I'm doing is talking over it. Um, and then it just takes five minutes to just drag the clips into Premiere Pro and export it. Well, it takes like half an hour to export, but you know, that's not something I'm actively doing. It's the computer that's exporting it, so I just hit export and then I do something else, so. Yeah, I'm basically just uh, trying to monetize my downtime, which is a sad concept, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? And I've always wanted to start a gaming channel. Um, it's kind of, it's always been a bit of a dream of mine. Uh, I love, I love gaming, you know, I, I watched pretty much the only YouTubers I watch are gaming videos, even to this day. I don't really watch anyone else on YouTube. Um, and yeah, I've always wanted to be a gaming YouTuber, but I kind of gave up because people used to pick on me for it. So I was like, oh, I, I won't do that then. Uh, but you know, I've been vlogging for like two years now, and I thought it was time. But that I did make a separate channel because I know that... Like, gaming videos are very different to this channel, so I'm not really going to talk about it anymore because I know that it's, you know, if you're interested in this stuff, you're probably not interested in the gaming channel. If you are, please head on over there, it's the original Gaming Dragon. I'm very excited, I've been working on a Skyrim series and I'm also planning on making an, on a, a, <laughs> I'm also planning on making an Oblivion series at some point too. Uh, I just need to work out the logistics of it because Oblivion crashes a lot. <laughs> Um, so yeah, but anyway, I'll stop talking about that now. So today I, well I filmed a load of gaming videos, I need to film the two outfit clips later, um, but that's only like four hours away, <laughs> uh, and I also had on my list that I needed to vlog, which I'm doing right now. So I don't really have anything else I need to do today, however, I am thinking, let me put you down for a second, there we go, I am thinking that tomorrow I'm going to try and go out. Uh, because I've been trying to, I want to try out the bus system basically uh, because I've never really used public transport, it's not something I ever used as a kid because my parents had cars so they drove us everywhere and our school was in walking distance so I've never used public transport I mean I can count on one hand the amount of times I've been in the bus um, and it was just uh, when I went out <laughs> for a day with my nanny and granddad I mean I think I, I've literally been in the bus like two times <laughs> once there and once back um, yeah, I don't use public transport basically. I've been on a train a few times, I love trains. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just, I've never used buses or taxis or anything. Uh, and obviously once I move to Norwich for university, I'm going to have to use tra public transport a lot. So I'm trying to get used to it while I'm here. I do have a bus timetable that I printed out. I obviously can't show you the bus timetable because it obviously gives away my exact local bus station, <laughs> uh, which would give away my location. Um, but yeah, basically, bus tables are so rubbish. I mean, I spent like half an hour just staring at it, trying to figure it out. And I just have no idea what it meant at all. It, it may as well be in French. I have no idea what it means. It's not clearly labelled. The text is tiny. I mean, when I, I, I walked to my local bus station just to have a look. Um, and I was like, yeah, I literally can't read that. It, the, you know, the font size is like font size six or something. And it, bus timetables are terrible. So I got my mum to read it for me. And I've now, I now understand it. I've highlighted the correct bits. So I know how to use it. Um, and it, very conveniently, my local bus, it goes both to the city centre and also to the shopping centre right next to my parents' house, which is great, because although there is, it also goes to the shopping centre right next to my house, uh, but I don't like that one because it has a Morrison's instead of a Tesco, and I like Tesco better. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna, you know, go all the way to the other side of town <laughs> to go to the one I'm used to. But yeah, I'm thinking of going to the city tomorrow because, well, <sighs> I was thinking, you know, do I want to go to the city for the first time I use the bus or do I want to go back to, uh, you know, the shopping centre near my parents' house because I want to, I obviously need to get used to doing my food shopping by myself, that's something my mum's been doing uh, recently just because I haven't figured that out yet, but you know, once I learn how to use the bus I'll obviously be able to do that. So I was like, do I want to do food shopping first or do I want to try going to the city first? And I think I'm going to try going to the city first because, you know, I've been to the city myself loads of times, that's something I used to do a lot. Uh, you probably remember if you used to watch the vlogs, you know, pre-pandemic. Um, and so I know the city very well, so even though I'm technically more familiar with the food shopping, 
Um, I've never actually done food shopping by myself because, well, why would I? <laughs> you know, I was living at home. I was a literal child. Why would I do food shopping? Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to go to the city. Um, so then, like, the only new thing I'm doing is the bus, you know? And then I'll save the food shopping for its own trip when I've got the hang of the bus. And then it's just the food shopping that's new, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, and I will obviously film that. Um, it'll be very, <laughs> uh, quite exciting for the vlog. Um, yeah, I am a little bit anxious because I've never used a bus, <laughs> ever. Um, and definitely not on my own, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll probably just edit gaming videos and chill for a few hours until it's time to go out and film the outfit clips. I'll get that done and then we'll call it a day. And I'll see you in the morning when I'm going to head to the city on my own. <laughs> first ever spam comment on YouTube <laughs> from a Japanese sex robot. You know you've made it when you start getting those comments. <laughs> I mean I get shit ton of them on Instagram just like pretty much everyone else but never had one on YouTube before so that's new. I have noticed an increase in subscribers over the last few weeks though so thank you very much. I think we're I think we're at 213 now. Uh, we hit 200 uh, I think just last week so yeah thank you very much you know for anyone who's subscribing or sharing or anything. I really appreciate it. I, you know I, I never started this channel with the idea of it getting very big. I just did it because I wanted to do it. It's I've always wanted to do YouTube you know since I was like eight years old and uh, well I did have a channel back then and we're just not we're not going to talk about it, okay? Not going to talk about it. You will never see those videos. I actually know for a fact that my dad has them stored away on some hard drive somewhere, but you're never seeing them, okay? <laughs> We're just not going to talk about that. You know, I started it because I wanted to and because, I don't know, vlogging is just a good way to keep yourself accountable of things, so, you know, but the fact that it is growing, uh, you know, slowly, but it is growing, is very exciting, so thank you. <laughs> It is Wednesday now though, I have just finished editing the piercing vlog which is going up today so that will have already gone up by the time you see this vlog. Uh, I am also being very annoyed with the builders who have been sawing and drilling for the last couple of hours so that's grand. Uh, I have got a fancy new piece of software that gets rid of all background noise in my videos so uh, hopefully you guys won't be able to hear them anymore which means I can film whenever and you, it won't affect the video. It'll piss me off no end, but the point is you don't have to deal with it anymore, which is what I want. But yeah, it is Wednesday now. I did go out yesterday, I took the bus to the city all by myself, and it was just as stressful as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, the bus drivers were, I mean, they were friendly enough, they just, they didn't use their words, so I, I've literally never used a bus before. <laughs> you know, I think the only time I've ever been on a bus was when I was like eight years old with my grandparents, so obviously, I had nothing to do with buying the tickets, so I was just like, Hi! <laughs> I need a ticket that will take me to the city and back. Can you do that? And, you know, she was just like, eh, yeah, eh, and pointed at, like, the five different machines on the desk, and I was like, I don't know what any of these do. You're gonna have to be more specific and actually explain it, because I don't know what you mean. <laughs> but eventually we got there. And also, I just... I feel that they need to, there needs to be some sort of system to tell you when you're approaching a certain stop. 
because there is literally no way for you to know when to push the button to make sure that they stop at your stop so you can get off because they only stop at the main stop so for me it's the railway station and the city centre they only stop at those two uh, you know permanently well not permanently but regularly they always stop at those stations but for the other miscellaneous ones just for your local bus station they don't stop there unless you tell them to but the thing about where I live is it's just it, everything looks the same you know there are no landmarks or anything it is just you know uniform road after road after road it all looks the same <laughs> and so there's no way to know <laughs> when you need to push the button and you can't count the bus stops or anything because they don't stop at every bus stop they only stop when you tell them to and also every bus stop you pass it doesn't necessarily apply to that bus because you know certain bus stops are for certain number buses so you can't count them or anything you just have to know when to push the button but unfortunately I don't know you know I'm not omniescent I do not know when to push the button it's the first time I ever used the fucking bus so I was just like when do I push the button now now no now is it maybe now and I, oh, <laughs> it was so stressful <laughs> but I expected that um, <laughs> and I think um, I'm just gonna have to get used to I need to be really vigilant when I'm uh, kind of looking at my street so that I can tell which bus stop I need to you know when I need to push the button but you kind of you have to recognize you you can't just recognize your bus stop because by the time you see your bus stop it's too late he's driven past it you need to recognize the thing before your bus stop you know except there's nothing before my bus stop that is any kind of landmark it's just trees and road that's it <laughs> so I don't know I need to find out a way to recognize the specific tree but you know trees change so I don't know maybe maybe I'll walk out there and put a really big bright red stick in the ground or something um, maybe that's worth a try but yeah just I'm not a fan of buses but I survived <laughs> and that's the whole point I need to say I was pretty tired after all of that yesterday so I came home and played Skyrim um, and recorded a whole load more videos. I actually love the whole gaming channel thing. Uh, by the time this goes up, uh, my first gaming video will be going up tomorrow when you see this. Uh, and at the moment I've scheduled videos for uh, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I already have videos scheduled all the way up until Christmas so I'm doing pretty good on that front. I may increase the amount of videos a week, I don't know. But the great thing about filming gaming videos is it costs me nothing extra. <laughs> you know, it, I'm just talking while I'm doing the thing I would usually do in my downtime, so it's pretty good. I'm, I like it very much. You know, it's like I feel productive whilst also just chilling, <laughs> which is great. So yeah, that was yesterday. Um, I did buy a few things while I was in the city. I obviously went to Waterstones and I bought a couple of books. Uh, I might show you those a little bit later, but yeah, for now I think I'm going to, uh, well, I'm going to upload that piercing vlog right now and schedule it for this evening. Um, and then I honestly might just film some more gaming videos. I'm in the gaming mood. Um, and I've done everything else I need to do this week. You know, I'm pretty ahead of schedule, so why the hell not, you know? Because, and it also, like, I'm chilling, but I'm also working. Uh, which is pretty great. So yeah, I think I probably will film some more gaming videos today. But either way, I need to upload the piercing vlog now, so I'll get back to you later. When was even the last time I vlogged? <laughs> I mean, I know I could, I could go back and watch the footage, but... Eh. <laughs> I do remember I vlogged me eating some scrambled eggs. Because I made scrambled eggs, and I was proud of it, so I vlogged that. Uh, and then I was gonna... I, I think I filmed myself like, you know, I was gonna try and talk to the camera like three times and then it just never happened because I actually wasn't in the mood to talk. I didn't realise that until I actually started filming and I was like, yeah, I don't want to talk right now. <laughs> but anyway, it is Saturday the 11th of September. Why is it already a week into September? I don't know. Um, I really should check the date before I start vlogging, but... It, no one's perfect, okay? <laughs> I 
So it's been a little while since I've vlogged. I think the last time I actually vlog vlogged was like last Wednesday uh, and then I had planned to kind of roll these vlogs into two weeks uh, because I didn't really do anything towards the end of last week. I was just kind of chilling, you know, but then I had loads of appointments this week and I just, like I said, I kept trying to film but I didn't really have anything to say and I didn't really want to talk and now it's Saturday and the week just kind of got away from me. <laughs> so anyway, what have I been doing? Not much, honestly. <laughs> uh, I am currently uh, editing a whole load of gaming videos, um, I, which I've just kind of been filming sporadically. I just, whenever I want to play a video game, I just record it um, and then I keep all the footage and then I edit them when I can be bothered, basically. I mean, I've already got videos scheduled all the way up till Christmas, so we're pretty good on the gaming video front. But yeah, if you want to go, if you're interested in gaming videos, um, I'm playing Skyrim at the moment. I'm doing a Skyrim Let's Play. So if you're interested in that, I will leave my channel down below. It is the original Gaming Dragon, so you can go and check that out. But I completely understand if you're not interested because it's very different to what this channel is about. Hence why I made the second channel. <laughs> As far as other things go though, I've pretty much not been doing that much. That was far too much of saying much, but you know. Uh, I have been uh, doing some drawing on my iPad as per usual, which I do pretty much whenever I have the time to. Um, I also, well I've had quite a lot of appointments this week, hence why I've kind of been a bit busy. I had three appointments this week. I had one on Monday, one on Thursday, and one yesterday. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll tell you a bit about those. Basically. Uh, I mean, Thursday was just my normal counselling session and then Friday was uh, the chiropractor, which again I go every few weeks just to kind of try and fix my back. Uh, but it was the Monday one that was something different. <laughs> Basically I made a podiatrist appointment. I can never get podiatrist and paediatric the right way round because I don't know exactly what the word is in French, but something to do with walking and feet is like le lapide or something like that. And so therefore, and also like the word pedestrian, right? And so I associate paediatrics with feet because of the word pedestrian and because I learnt French as a child in school before I learnt about, you know, children's hospitals and things. Uh, and so I just, I've always associated paediatrics with feet, but it's not. Paediatrics is children, and then podiatrist is feet. And it just, I always get confused. <laughs> but anyway, I went to go get my uh, foot checked out, because basically my right foot is wonky. Um, and I've kind of always known this, but it was just, it was one of those things that when you're disabled and there's quite, like, you know, when there's, when you have a lot wrong with you, <laughs> like I have uh, you kind of it's kind of just like a never-ending cycle of figuring out more stuff that's wrong with you because you know back when I we were kind of first figuring out that there was a lot wrong with me you know back when I was like 13 14 you know my, my foot was the least of my problems you know it was my depression anxiety and trying to get me diagnosed with autism those were like the three main things and then also my Tourette's uh, but we'd already kind of you know known it was Tourette's it was just like trying to get an official diagnosis so those were like the three things we were focusing on and there were a whole load of other things but it wasn't until we fixed those things that I then had the space to think about the other things that were ruining my life and then as we fixed those things there were more things and fixed those things and there's more things and it just keeps going on like that uh, and I mean maybe eventually there'll be an end to it uh, but you know, it's been like five years, so I'm not that hopeful, if I'm being honest. And yeah, the fact that my foot is wonky was one of those things that just kind of was irrelevant at that time. Uh, and if anything, I've kind of <laughs> shot myself in the foot. <laughs> but um, uh, because basically, because I'm now an adult, it's not going to fix itself, and there's really not much we can do about it to fix it. If I had. You know, if we got it check checked out earlier but when I was still growing, we probably could have, you know, like put a, a splint or a boot or something on it so that it would grow in the right place and therefore it wouldn't be wonky. But because I am now an adult and I obviously have not been growing for quite a few years now, it's stuck where it is. Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, I will kind of, I'll, I'll probably put like a footage over it and I'll show you. But basically, if I, if, you know when you put your knees out, right? And my left foot, it goes up and down. Just, just how it should, right? But then when you look at my right foot, my knee is straight, but my foot 
is at about a 30 degree angle to the right um and yeah so it means that when i walk i kind of do this rather than heel toe it's like that which is obviously very painful uh because it's grinding the bones are grinding against each other and it's you know it's overusing these two muscles and completely not using these two um which obviously causes a lot of problems it strains it a lot uh it's also the one i sprained <laughs> surprise surprise and then you know combine that with the fact that I'm hypermobile so generally just my joints go everywhere I'm very flippy floppy basically and it just it's just not a good time basically so I have insoles in my shoes I'll get I'll show them so you can see the blue insoles in my shoes they are obnoxiously blue uh, but you know they're inside my shoes so no one's ever gonna see them it just they offend me slightly <laughs> there's also a rock in the bottom of my shoe <laughs> these trainers are my favourite trainers ever and I have like seven pairs of them because I just bought loads of them when I found them because you know it's like really hard to find good trainers uh, so I just bought a whole load of them but the only problem is they consistently get rocks stuck in like the grooves at the bottom <laughs> uh, yeah so you, you always you always got to be picking rocks out of the shoes but yeah I have these insoles basically um, it's just an insole I'm sure many of you have seen insoles before but basically what that stops it stops my feet from rolling and it keeps them straight so even though my foot is still at like this angle <laughs> it at least can't do this anymore it just stays flat um, and yeah they're working out pretty well so far I mean I've only had them for like five days but it, they are working out pretty well so yeah there's that <laughs> um, yeah we did um i think i'm gonna do a whole video on like my experience with doctors because at the moment uh we saw the podiatrist privately and we also were seeing the chiropractor privately and my counselor is private but i always did private counseling because i mean <laughs> cam's counseling is the worst thing to ever exist it's just an absolute joke honestly um and if it wasn't so terrible it would be funny but yeah it really is terrible but that is another conversation <laughs> uh, so yeah we're, we're seeing everyone privately which it obviously does cost money and honestly I can't really afford it but at the same time it's pretty much the only way to get seen because I mean the NHS as much as I'm very thankful for the NHS and you know having free healthcare it doesn't work <laughs> you know especially I mean they were always slow but these days just over the last year or so because of Covid everything else has grinded to a halt you cannot be seen by anyone um which yeah there's nothing you can do about it you can't get seen and it, it was already you have to wait like three to five business years to get seen or diagnosed or anything my sister's been waiting like three years at this point uh so like that literally is not an exaggeration it's like three to five business years it's ridiculous um yeah so <laughs> as much as i can't really afford to go private i kind of have to if i want to get seen so so yeah, I, I think I am going to do a whole another video on that. I've got loads of videos planned. Um, I, I did pretty well the last few weeks. I had like videos scheduled and everything, which feels good. Um, I have got another video. I need to film a video this weekend, which is like today. Where's the time going? <laughs> I'll probably end up filming tomorrow, not today, because I'm not ready to film. Um, yeah, I'm going to be filming basically like a... Uh, what I'm bringing to the photography show type video like a packing video and that'll be up on Wednesday when you guys see this and then next weekend I'm going to the photography show um, so yeah in a week's time I'll literally be at the photography show when you like right now and when you guys see this tomorrow um, and I will of course vlog that and that vlog will go up on the following Wednesday and then I've also got another autism reviews video uh, I've got the doctor's video and I've got a couple of other things I want to talk about and then it'll be Christmas <laughs> so <laughs> oh I'm also going to Harry Potter uh, Warner Brothers Studios in October which is just like as a family that was something we got gifted the tickets we got gifted a family ticket to Warner Brothers Studios two years ago <laughs> okay this was Christmas 2019 but of course we never got to go because then Covid hit um, so yeah, we have been waiting for this a long time, um, and yes, it was, this was before all the JK Rowling drama as well, we're not getting into that. So yeah, we are going to Warner Brothers Studios, we're going as a family, which is quite rare, we don't do anything as a family these days. 
I'm not going to say any more about that. Uh, and then I'm also going away in November with my dad for a week. My mum and my sister are going away and then my dad and I are going away, but we're going separately because like I just said, we don't go away as a family very much anymore because it just doesn't really work. <laughs> um, and honestly, you can't even fit us all in the car anymore because um, uh, my legs are too long. I can't sit in the back of a car. <laughs> Uh, because uh, my dad can't put the seat back far enough which means I have to sit in the front and my mum has to sit in the back with Sophie uh, who's my sister if you didn't know uh, and she doesn't like long car rides and you know I'd, I quite like long car rides but you know not when there's people complaining all the time so yeah it just just doesn't really work anymore so yeah we are going to separate places but my dad and I are going all the way up north uh, it's gonna be fun so that's obviously gonna be separate vlogs there's gonna be you know like two other videos I'm gonna get out of that and then it'll be my birthday and then it'll be Christmas and then it'll be New Year and then before you know it, I'll be going to uni so I just like September is just <laughs> it honestly well, as soon as September hits it, it feels like a death sentence almost you know and part of it is that I obviously very strongly associate September with back to school which thankfully I am no longer a part of but yeah it just it honestly feels like you know as soon as September hits it's like you know back to school Halloween Christmas end of year and it's like it was July yesterday <laughs> why is it Christmas and the fact that you know Christmas decorations and stuff are already out is ridiculous I've already started getting Christmas adverts on my phone and stuff and it's like it's September, leave me alone. <laughs> I swear I just moved in yesterday. Oh, and by the way, I got another letter for Winifred. Uh, I was getting a little worried, you know. I haven't had any letters for Winifred or... What's he called? I want to say Daniel, but that's not right, is he? Yeah, Danny, yeah. Da yeah, Danny and Winifred are the people's posts I get all the time. Well, I haven't had any letters in a few weeks and I was getting worried, you know. Are they okay? Have they actually finally changed their fucking addresses? Uh, but it's okay. I got a letter for Winifred this morning, so she's good. But anyway, other than, you know, pretty much doctor's appointments, drawing in between, playing a little bit of video games here and there, I really haven't been doing that much. <laughs> um, you know, because doctor's appointments and stuff really take it out of me. Um, I just did some washing this morning. Because being an adult is really fun. Um, yeah, I really haven't been doing much. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing a little bit more next week because I still have to film the packing video. I would like to get one more video filmed as well, uh, just so that I kind of have a fallback in case uh, I'm not able to edit and upload the photography show vlog immediately after I get back, because you know, it would be like a 48 hour turnaround and uh, I need to have a period when I get back from the photography show as well. So I may not be able to make that happen. So I'd like to have a fallback, but no problem if not. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of videos to film. Um, I should maybe read a book or something because <laughs> I haven't really done that this year I think my goal was 52 books and I've read like seven so I'm obviously doing really great on that front and yeah I've just just got some stuff to do so I'm sure I'll do more next week but yeah the last couple of weeks have just been generally uneventful or at least for the vlog you know I've been doing things but it's not very interesting for the vlog you know it's just been go to appointments, come back and rest. Oh look, another appointment, come back and rest. But yeah, next week should be more exciting. For now though, I think I'm going to leave this vlog here. I am just going to continue editing these gaming videos, probably for most of the rest of the day. Uh, I'll probably then do some prep for the video I need to, you know, the packing video I need to film. Because uh, I need to actually collect all the stuff <laughs> that I'm bringing and, you know, actually make a packing list. So I'll probably do that so I can film that video tomorrow. And then of course I need to edit this vlog. So yeah. For now I think I'm going to leave this vlog here so I hope you enjoyed, I know it was a little bit weird, very spread out, I didn't really do much. Uh, I did go to the city last week though which was pretty exciting even though it was very nerve wracking. I've decided I officially don't like the bus uh, but regardless of my official feelings on it uh, I gotta use it anyway because <laughs> I don't have a car or a driver's license so you know. Yeah, there have been some exciting things, so, but you know, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog either way. Uh, like it if you did, subscribe if you want to see more. I do weekly vlogs as well as miscellaneous videos every Wednesday, as well as whenever I feel like it. Um, and yeah, other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.